Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of World Conqueror 4 and this episode we're gonna be talking about the guy for Soviet Union in 1939 for conquest so as you all know that before I uh, started my uh, World Conqueror 4 videos I also played the World Conqueror 4 conquest about the Soviet Union uh, I took the Soviet Union and I had a lot of problems uh, from the first time when I play I make a lot of mistakes and right now I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks uh, some guide for the Soviet Union in 1939 as you all know that uh, you don't need much too many generals for this conquest actually because uh, the Soviet had already had their generals they had around about 10 uh, they had two in Asia so right now I'm gonna be focusing on Asia first so first of all when you start as the Soviet Union you you, you need to have a look at your Asia border so when you start over here you have the city here and then you have a city here and you have two generals you have one here and you also have one here too but uh, I already lost one of mine so only uh, he's left and also don't try to take care of the sea okay just let it be the sea is not important the only thing is important is this city over here Changchun, uh, Peking, Wuhan, Nanking, uh, Pyongyang and Seoul so why is it important the reason why because when we start our first campaign, the Japanese general uh, Yamashita, he will try to attack us with force. He had around four units. We only have four units too, but our unit were not really good. So the only way that we can do to defend and attack him is that we retreat. So I abandoned this city and I also abandoned this city, uh, Kabarovs. I also abandoned it. And then I uh, recover my troop at Yat Yakutsk and then I build uh, about three or four field artillery and I also uh, build it in a you know level I call it level three uh, with level three and then I try to uh, came down and uh, defend and try to take back Kaba, uh, Kabarovsk and then I try to take back this city but after we have taken it back they send more troops and after they send more troops I try to build uh, more field artillery with a you know level three uh, regiment a uh, level 3 uh, field artillery so that it can be tougher and endurable and then uh, then then you should know that there are uh, two tanks here and uh, yet Tukarinburg and uh, Novosburg and then you can send these two tanks it's not a heavy tank it's a uh, uh, medium not uh, yeah uh, medium uh, sorry a uh, light tank so it's uh, two light tanks so I send did my two light tank here to Changchun and try to defend but it all destroy however I also built another heavy tank here and you might know that I have a uh, Guderian here the reason why I had Guderian here because I send the troops sorry I send the tanks from Moscow to Ulaanbaatar at Mongolia and then I wait until uh, they were distracted the Japanese troops were distracted and then I equipped Guderian and then I tried to take Peking and then after taking Peking I built more uh, Hobarzer and try to take Shenyang and then take and take uh, Changchun so which means that they were attacked by surprise so I, I let the surprise attack and then I go down to Wuhan and Nanking so right now I'm focusing on Shanghai and that is the uh, Asia uh, parts and then let's have a look at the European theater of the war so European theater is a bit complex right uh, first of all you should know that when you are start in 1939 conquest the biggest problem is this the Nazi Germany so the Nazi Germany is very powerful with a lot of troops a lot of general they start around uh, 20 generals I guess uh, if, uh, if I'm math was right so so they also so we gonna face problem in uh, European theater we have uh, Romania we have Bulgaria we have uh, uh, Finland yeah we have Bulgaria Finland we have Italy we have more of it so the first thing that I did was, uh, you, uh, as you know, if you start the 1939 conquest, you're going to have a lot of uh, uh, Hobbitzer here. So, I sent all my Hobbitzer and I attack. I do not wait to defense. I attack because, the reason why I attack, because the, this, the German troops, they will divide it into two parts. The first part with Manstein, they're going to be focusing on France. The second part with Guderian, they're going to be focusing on Poland and the Soviet Union. And also this... Uh, Finland over here. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but it's okay. Uh, make sure you have uh, you're gonna start with two generals here I don't know their name. Uh, I guess 
uh, one one uh, two yeah two tanks general here. What I tried to do was I uh, defended Riga. I tried to defend Riga and Leningrad and, and build more howitzer and try to take down the gen the Finnish general uh, Mannerheim. Uh, the Finnish general tried to uh, attack and land it, but I defeated him, so he won't be a big problem. The only big problem that we had was uh, the Balkan. So the troops they try to advance the Axis troops they try to advance many many times. So I equipped go now and. Uh, yeah, I, I got gold nail here, and I equip it, and I only use three, only three general. Uh, I use Zukov uh, for the defending Leningrad. I use uh, gold nail for defending uh, Stalingrad and attack at the south uh, offensive. And I use Guderian only for the Asian part. So that is, uh, you, uh, you should know that uh, you need a good general. Even if, even if it is bad or good, just you have to need. You really need a general. Just try to defend and attack. Uh, try to get uh, someone who's uh, uh capable of uh, firing, uh, giving damage, giving support to your troops, and uh, try to take down your enemy. So you should know that this is the 1939. So the first thing in European theater is that, uh, the Axis troop divided into parts. The first part with Manstein at uh, Paris, France, and try to take down uh, the United Kingdom, the second part of the troops is Guderian, Model, and other uh, general. They tried to take Poland, and what I did, like I told you guys, just attack, okay? Do not defend. Do not defend. If you defend, which means that you are going to die alone in this uh, eastern front, so I attack. And also uh, with the, uh, the third troop of the Axis Germany, uh, with Rommel. So Rommel was here, but I think he's dead now because... Uh, the allied troop just taken down yeah so that's all guys thank you guys so much for watching and you have any question more about the uh, guy in this uh, 1939 soviet union don't forget to comment and i will reply uh, with some help for you guys and if you like my video please leave a like and a comment and i will see you guys later